Wow. I had every intention of making this a one to two minute video. I think the only thing that was worse than me seeing the positive for COVID-19 on my medical record, the only thing worse than that was me having to tell my kids' fathers that I tested positive for COVID and that if my symptoms got worse, they would have to come get their kids. That was the worst part for me because y'all know, I pride myself on being a good mom. That's one thing that y'all can take away from me is that I pride myself on being a good mom. And I have a 14 year old, an eight year old and a three year old to think that If potentially I died this week, my sons wouldn't even remember me. So that's when I told myself that I had to overcome this. I couldn't let this be the end of our story. Um, just recently in January of this year, I lost my grandmother on my father's side. Everybody who knows me knows that I'm a daddy's girl. That was a hurtful thing for me to tell him too that I tested positive because we all are watching the media. We're all reading the articles. We're all watching the news, hearing of millions of people who have died from this virus and how young people um with no underlying diseases are dying as well so i'm like okay well i'm healthy i shouldn't have the issue but feeling that rattle in my chest when i would try to take a deep breath or not being able to smell, not being able to taste my food for the first time ever in my life was a scary thing for me. So to think that my father might possibly have to bury his mom and his daughter, his oldest daughter in the same year was another motivation, no, was another motivation for me. It was no way in hell that I could have let coronavirus win this battle. So I'm sitting here today to tell you, if you are experiencing this, that you can beat it. I beat it by myself with the thing, with God's grace, do not get me wrong, but without having to go to the hospital, without having to be intubated. And I am so grateful. That's the one thing that I have to add to this, that I have such a gratitude for life and I'm so grateful for the things that have that could have been that it didn't happen um you know getting these text messages from my mom and my sister just motivated me to have to just know that Kristen you are stronger you are more than a conqueror you can do this like I put my life on the line every day when I go to work. I didn't even have enough time to cover to be off from work. These are all the things that I'm thinking about is how am I going to pay rent? How am I going to keep lights on in my house? How am I going to keep the life as comfortable as it can be for my kids so that they don't get worried because they were just as stressed out. My son's just to come to my room door just to look. just to look to make sure that their mom was still in there. Like, I don't think you would ever understand. I don't know. If you're going through this, I feel where you're coming from. I don't know. I just had to get up here on my platform just to express my feelings and how I felt about this. Um, one of the things that I asked myself, well, I didn't even ask myself. One of the things that I said here and I was like, God, what do you want me to learn from this? What is, What do you want me to get out of this lesson that I'm learning? Because there's always 
a blessing in our lesson is always a lesson in anything that we go through and one of the things that i continually continuously have to learn or continuously speak on is that don't give up don't stop you can do it this has motivated me to stop playing it safe now that that is behind me i want to put that chapter behind me it has motivated me to take my goals more seriously for me to be more aggressive with the things that i'm doing take my health way more serious than i have been i've taken it for granted that i'm 31 years old i've never been sick i don't have any underlying issues good it's time for me to keep it that way for me to love on my children more to spend more time with my family to be more generous life has been so generous to me and even through all of this i didn't even have enough pto and my job did not pay me they said i didn't get it from work i got it from the community granted everyone around me my mom, my kids, my sisters, my father, everyone that I was in contact with within two weeks, all of them tested negative. There was um, a possible exposure at work. I work in the hospital, so that is to be expected. But I don't know anyone who tested positive for COVID, but anyways, my job didn't pay me. I only had enough PTO for two and a half days and I was out for 19 days from work. The stress of not knowing how I'm going to pay my rent, how I'm going to keep lights on. Those were the things that I was thinking of. Yes, I had savings, but I didn't have three months worth of savings to where I didn't have to go to work. That made me take my savings way more serious. Me in the opportunities that I give my kids, like I'm done. I'm posting this video to be a declaration over my life that it's time for me to take it to the next level because at of any given second it can be taken from me or i could be knocked down and have to sit down so this has just shown me that kristen it's time to go harder